Question four in this game, or question nine in the section overall, reads, if greed is shown exactly three times, harvest is shown exactly twice, and limelight is shown exactly once, then which of the following must be true? So we're given some if information, but we're not clear exactly how to incorporate that into the structures that we've been thinking about here. But we can at least write it down because it's much easier to deal with when we have all the information that we need staring at us in the face. So here I could write something like the following. I could say, you know, greed times three, H times two, and L times one. So we're trying to place six different showings into these three days. And we can ask ourselves, given this new information, is there anything that we can place for sure, that we know has to be true? Because we want to focus on what we definitely know to be true or false before we start thinking about hypothetical scenarios, because that could just get us off on a tangent that would be more of a time waster than it would be productive. So let's think about that. We can write down our structure, our Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And one thing that we do know is if greed is going to be shown three times, and we have this rule that films can only go once per day, we know that greed is going to have to be shown on each day of the festival. So we can at least start there and say, well, we've got to have a G on each of these days. We can then say, based on that placement, is there anything we can do with the rules here? Here, well, this is going to be satisfied just due to this information. We need to keep this in mind, but there's not anything directly to do with it right now. Here, we say H has to go on Thursday and nothing can come after. Well, that means that we have to place an H after the G. And that takes up one of these H showings. Here, we have to have exactly one of G or L on Friday, well, we already have a G, so this means that we can't have L on Friday. And we also know that if anything else is going to go on Friday, it has to come before G. We also know that either G or H, but not both, has to come on Saturday. Well, we've already placed the G, so we know here that we can't have an H. We also know that if anything is going to come before, or if anything else is going to come on Saturday, that it has to come before G since nothing can come after. So that gives us some structure in terms of what's going on here. And we can then go to the answer choices and see whether that's enough to answer the question. So it says, which of the following must be true? Choice A says all three films are shown on Thursday. Well, we don't know that yet. Choice B says exactly two films are shown on Saturday. Well, we know that more than two can't be shown on Saturday, but we don't know whether this is empty yet. Choice C says Limelight and Harvest are both shown on Thursday. Choice C is interesting because if Limelight and Harvest have to both be shown on Thursday, then it has to be true that all three are shown on Thursday. But all three shown on Thursday was choice A. So given what we know about the game, choices A and C are actually equivalent. But we know that there can only be one answer choice to a logic game question. So if we can't distinguish between choices A and C, then logically speaking, we can be pretty confident that neither one of them is our desired answer choice. Choice D reads, greed is the only film shown on Saturday. Again, we don't know that. Choice E reads, harvest and greed are both shown on Friday. Well, we don't know that yet either. So the question becomes, what do we do with these three remaining answer choices? In general, if you're going through a question and you feel like you're getting stuck, 
it's probably because you're not incorporating a piece of information into the problem that's actually necessary in order to answer the question. So the first thing that you can always think about is when you feel like you're getting stuck to say, well, what haven't I used yet? And this particular situation, we've incorporated all of this information, but what we haven't fully utilized is this information here that was provided in the problem itself. We utilized this information of G going three times, which is how we started the problem, but we didn't address these other two pieces here. So if we think about this now, we say, well, H has to go twice. We've accounted for one of those times here. We see that H can't go on Saturday. That means that the only place left for him to go is on Friday. So we actually have to place him here. We know that L has to go once, but we still don't know whether he's going to go here or here. So hopefully this one extra step was enough to answer the question. If we now go back and look through our answer choices to say, given what we know now, do we have enough information to answer the question, we'll notice that choice E states harvest and greed are both shown on Friday. And in fact, that's what we just added to our diagram, that both H and G do have to be on Friday. So now we can say directly, given our deductions, that the answer to this question has to be E.